Greetings everybody, my name's Tommy the Game Master and welcome to my channel. Well today has some interesting news if you're into classic games. First off, if you own a Wii U, the Virtual Console is now starting to support Turbo Graphics games. So the old Hudson library that Konami now owns is going to be appearing on that console. Bonk and Adventure Island were the two games they have put up there. Pretty decent games. That said, you are supporting Konami, just to give you a heads up. So, <laughs> my feelings about that company are still rather mixed to negative, to say the least. Anyways, the big news, though, that I want to get to is that Nintendo is releasing an NES Mini. Now, these things aren't exactly new. I've seen them on the shelf for at least a decade now. Basically, what this is is kind of a plug-and-play console. You plug it in, and it has the games already preloaded and ready to play. But leave it to Nintendo to do it a little bit more. The game system will come with an NES controller that can also hook up to the Wii controller, so you can play Virtual Console games with the Wii control with the NES controller using the Wii Mote, kind of like you could with the Classic controller. My thoughts are you're still going to be kind of having that Wii controller as dead weight, but still to actually have an actual NES controller with you while playing sounds like it's a fun idea, and I'm kind of interested in it just for that. Also, the games library. When I first heard about this, okay, it's going to have mostly Nintendo games. We're going to have all the main starters, the Super Mario Brothers, the Zelda, Metroid, and then a whole bunch of games like Golf or, or Urban Champion on it. And these games kind of stink. They're made by Nintendo, but they're not really that well known or considered that great. So I was expecting all the games that every Nintendo fanboy has two or three copies of plus some of the extras on the side that no one wants. Well, I was pleasantly surprised to see that's not really the case. With the exception of Metroid, which I do not like the original Metroid, I just don't, all the games on here are actually pretty stellar, and we're talking about games from third parties. That's what really surprised me. Capcom, Konami, and even Square have kind of donated games to this collection. You have Konami's games like Castlevania and Castlevania 2. You also have Gradius from them. My only complaint is, and I think it's just because it has not hit any of the virtual consoles yet, is that we don't have the original Contra. For some reason, we're getting Super C. I don't know why Konami seems to want to hold back the original Contra. It's a classic, but whatever. We, from Square, we have Final Fantasy, and then Capcom has the uh, Mega Man 2 and Ghosts and Goblins and a few others, and there's 30 games, and most of them are hits. The only games, like I said, I could see myself saying no to would be the original Metroid, and that has its fans. I'm not saying it's a terrible game or if it was a bad idea. My complaint against that game is that it was a game before its time, and that's actually what hinders it. The NES just was not powerful enough to do a game of its kind and have it come out being any fun, and that's just my opinion. And then Mario Brothers is kind of a drag, too. But the rest of these games that I have played, and there's a few on here that I haven't played, and that's one of the reasons why I want to get it, is to try some of these games I haven't. But most of the ones I have played are games worth getting. There's probably a good 100 or 200 hours worth of gameplay in here, and I'm super excited. Definitely a great game. Um, game gift for the classic gamer or for a youngster who you kind of want to experience what life was like in the 80s. So I'm definitely going to be getting this. I can't wait to try it out. Now finally I have one more question to ask my audience. I'm going to put up a poll there and I'm going to be asking um, what do you want me to review? I got a whole bunch of games on the Steam Summer Sale. Right now I'm going through Hyperdimensional Neptuna. I did not get that on the Steam Sale, but it's a game that I have downloaded and I want to play through it. But I have a few games that I bought on the Steam Sale, and I just want to know which guy, games do you guys want me to review or for me to talk about. Anyways, this is Tommy the Game Master signing out and wishing you guys to have a nice day.